People lean on Photoshop every day for its powerful retouching tools. Things like the Healing Brush, Clone Stamp, Liquify. So we were really excited to build a new app just for that workflow called Photoshop Fix. But it took much more than just copying tools over to the iPad. We wanted to completely rethink the experience. So in Photoshop Fix, you'll find something that's incredibly powerful, but really easy to use, really friendly, and really magical. I've already opened this image here, and this is the first one that I want to work on. And because of the A9X chip, we're able to take advantage of images up to 50 megapixels on the iPad Pro here. So really large uh, images are no problem whatsoever. This one's about 20 megapixels. And the first thing that we'll look at here is healing. This is exactly the sort of thing that we have access to in Photoshop on the desktop. And with the integration with Pencil, you can see I have a lot of precision. I can just come in here and heal out any of this. And that looks great. I can go ahead and commit that. Now, at some point, someone might notice that that's actually a, a parking sensor for this car. And maybe that's not the sort of thing that we should remove from there. Everything that we've got here is layers. Um, whether I think in terms of layers or not. So I can come back here and I can just restore this right back into the image, no problem whatsoever. You'll notice that I also have a clone stamp tool and a patch tool. I've got sort of a hybrid tool here, a lot of the functionality that I have in Photoshop on the desktop, uh, but with a much more intuitive interface. One of the other things that we could do here is we could lighten up certain areas of this image. So let's go into light. And you'll notice that rather than using intimidating terms like dodge or burn, uh, I've got lighten and darken here. And I've got some familiar controls off to the left. These are my brush dynamics. I can adjust the uh, opacity of my brush, the hardness, and the size as well. And the precision of my brushes is tuned to the screen. So they become more precise as I zoom in. So if I want to lighten this by using my fingertip, I could do that, and that's no problem. Go ahead and do that here on the grill. But when I come into an area like the brake rotor, I'm going to zoom in much closer. And this is where Apple Pencil really shines, because I have a lot more precision. OK, so let's back up. And to darken the hood, I'm going to go with a much larger brush that's softer, mid-opacity. And I'm just going to drag my finger over the hood, over the windshield, and over the door jamb. And whenever I'm ready, I can send this over to Photoshop and translate that into a language which Photoshop understands, or maybe send it to one of my social networks or even save it locally. Let's take a look at one more file. And for this one, this is a great example of a workflow that's very different uh, and much friendlier here. And that's Liquify. Now, for any of you who have ever used Liquify on the desktop, this is a very powerful way to directly manipulate your image. But wouldn't it be great if it just automatically knew which piece of the face was which? Well, that's exactly what we've got here. If I click Face, Photoshop Fix is automatically going to drop points on my friend Steve's eyes, nose, cheeks, and mouth. And so if I touch his eye, and I want that to be a little larger, or I want to adjust the tilt of that, or if I touch his nose and want to change the width of that, or even warp that, if I want to move down to his mouth and adjust the width, or even his expression, or even do something kind of ridiculous like play around with his jawline, or chin. Now, as with the other things that I've done here, I can choose to come back and reconstruct any of those. Steve looked perfectly fine before I started messing with his face here, so I could take it back anywhere within those various states that I like and go ahead and commit that. Between the screen real estate, powerful processor, and deep integration with Apple Pencil, it's obvious that Photoshop Fix is a natural for the iPad Pro. But keep in mind that this free app also runs great on smaller versions of the iPad and even the iPhone. Retouching is one of those things we all want to do to some of our images. So I think you're going to have a blast with Photoshop Fix. I hope you really enjoy it.